Welcome to Al Jazari channel. Die casting, one of the most efficient processes for shaping metals with high precision and speed. From automotive parts to intricate components, die casting is a key player in modern manufacturing. Die casting is a metal casting process that involves forcing molten metal into a mold cavity under high pressure. The mold, called a die, is made from hardened steel, allowing for the creation of high-precision parts. There are two main types of die casting, hot chamber and cold chamber die casting. Hot chamber die casting is used for metals with low melting points like zinc, lead, and magnesium. The machine's chamber is immersed in the molten metal, making it a quick process. Cold chamber die casting is used for metals like aluminum and copper alloys, which have higher melting points. In this method, molten metal is ladled into the injection system from an external furnace. Die casting follows a precise set of steps. The first step is preparation, where the die is coated with a lubricant to control temperature and ease part removal. Secondly, filling. In this step, molten metal is injected into the die at high pressure. This ensures the metal fills all parts of the cavity quickly and completely. The third step is solidification. The metal cools and hardens in the die. After that is ejection. Once the metal has solidified, the die opens and the cast part is ejected. The final step is trimming. Excess metal, called flash, is removed, leaving a clean finished product. At the heart of the die casting process is the die casting machine. This highly specialized equipment is responsible for injecting molten metal into the die under high pressure, ensuring precision and speed in manufacturing. The die casting machine consists of several key components. Injection system. The injection system is where the molten metal is forced into the die. In a hot chamber machine, the injection mechanism is submerged in the molten metal, while in a cold chamber machine, the metal is manually ladled into the system. The injection system uses hydraulic pressure to quickly fill the die with metal. The second component is the die. The die is a steel mold made of two halves, the covered die, stationary, and the ejector die, movable. These halves come together to form the cavity where the molten metal solidifies into the final shape. The die is engineered to withstand high temperatures and pressures while maintaining dimensional accuracy. This die is held by the third component, which is the clamping unit. The clamping unit holds the two halves of the die tightly closed during the injection process. The clamping force must be strong enough to resist the pressure exerted by the molten metal during injection. This unit ensures that no metal leaks out of the die and that the part forms correctly. The fourth component is the cooling system. Once the molten metal is injected, it needs to cool and solidify before the die is opened. The machine is equipped with a cooling system, usually involving water or oil, to help control the die temperature and speed up the solidification process. The fifth component is the ejector system. After the metal has solidified, the ejector system pushes the part out of the die. Pins or plates inside the ejector half of the die help to safely remove the part without damaging it. The machine contains a lubrication system as well. Before each casting cycle, the die is sprayed with a lubricant to prevent the molten metal from sticking to the die and to regulate its temperature. This helps prolong the life of the die and ensures that the finished parts have a smooth surface finish. The final machine component is the hydraulic system. The hydraulic system powers the movement of the injection, clamping, and ejector mechanisms. It generates the necessary forces to pressurize the metal and operate the machine components effectively. Modern die casting machines are equipped with advanced control systems that ensure the entire process is automated and precise. These control systems regulate the metal injection pressure, temperature, and timing, allowing for the production of highly consistent parts with minimal variation. 
Many machines are now integrated with automation solutions such as robotic arms, which handle the loading and unloading of materials, improving efficiency and reducing human error. Die casting machines come in different sizes, depending on the part size and production requirements. Machines with larger clamping forces, typically measured in tons, can produce bigger and heavier parts. Modern machines are capable of producing thousands of parts per day, making die casting one of the fastest and most cost-effective methods of mass production. The die, or mold, used in die casting must be able to withstand extreme pressures and high temperatures, making material selection critical. Dies are typically made from high-grade tool steels, such as H13 steel, known for their durability, heat resistance, and toughness. These steels can endure the rapid heating and cooling cycles of the die casting process without deforming or cracking. The manufacture of a die involves precision machining, where the mold cavity is carefully cut and shaped to the specifications of the part being cast. Dies are often made in two halves, the stationary cover die and the movable ejector die, which come together to form the mold cavity. Depending on the complexity of the part, the die may also include cores or inserts to create intricate shapes and internal cavities. Die casting offers several advantages. It allows for complex shapes with tight tolerances. High production rates make it suitable for mass production. Die cast parts have a long lifespan and excellent surface finish. The process also minimizes waste, as excess metal can be recycled. Common metals used in die casting include Aluminum alloys, which are characterized by lightweight, corrosion-resistant, and strength. Zinc which is easy to cast, low cost, and offers a smooth finish. Magnesium, this metal is the lightest structural metal, ideal for weight-sensitive applications. And copper alloys, which are known for their high conductivity and strength. Die casting is widely used in industries such as automotive, aerospace, electronics, and consumer goods. From engine blocks and transmission cases to connectors and housings, die cast parts are everywhere. Die casting continues to play a vital role in producing metal components with exceptional precision, speed, and durability. It's an indispensable process in modern manufacturing. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about metal casting processes, don't forget to like and subscribe.